Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina. Captain Mark and the boys just got back from a 39 hour private fishing charter. They got a nice pile of fish, some beautiful, beautiful big yellow tails, some in the six pound plus range, some big mangrove snapper, some some amberjack, but they were really focused on the grouper and snapper. This was a private charter with some guests from the East Coast uh, who were not as interested in the amberjack, so we kind of avoided them. But look at that yellowtail snapper. Monster yellowtail snapper. Makes those mangrove snapper look small. Looks like you guys had a good trip, huh? Amazing. I got one even bigger than that. You got a bigger yellowtail than that one? <laughs> Monster. So, how was the night bite? Uh, very good. Uh, we just kicked out of them the whole time. A little rough going out, but in the backside of the storm, and uh, just a big swell. Not usual for the Gulf of Mexico. But we eased out there and uh, started kicking out of them about 2 a.m. in the morning. It was just all the way from daybreak. And uh, then we went and got some of these gag groupers and rig groupers. Yeah. The, um, on uh, the potholes out there, just right, right around the middle ground, and uh, did really well. We had a good fishing trip. Nice. And uh, the day bite was pretty consistent? Yes, the day bite was very consistent, and actually, they picked through the whole the whole period. It was really good. The fish were hungry, and uh, these guys were good anglers, and they uh, did really well. Do you think the bite was better behind the storm? Was it average? Do you think we were able to take advantage of that post-storm bite at all? Oh, definitely. It was definitely, they were chewing and they were hungry and uh, they uh, were all set up right right where I thought they'd be. How about today's uh, uh, Tuesday 39-hour trip? The trip le leaving later today got a super light load on it. Do you think they're going to have an increased bite from this storm or do you think it's going to be closer to a normal really good bite just not as crazy behind the storm now that it's passed quite a ways no we'll have a good fishing for a week or two a little bit better than normal and uh they'll their, their problem will be they're going to limit out and that was our <laughs> challenge we limited out of mangroves and um yellowtails and we had to go hunt for other species that's a good problem to have how about the pelagic action did you see any pelagics out there not as many as i thought i was really hoping we'd get more of they had some very nice tackle, and we were dragging everything behind this boat. But uh, we caught this glass fin on the flat line, and we caught multiple other fish on the flat line. But uh, as far as uh, dragging the gear, I was surprised we didn't do better. Uh, perhaps it'll be better uh, so as the time the storm subsides and they get back together. What was the hot bait this trip? Oh, probably those mangrove or the uh, thread fins and uh, the sardines. Um, these heads and tails, they, the, the, the squid works well. Any kind of chunk works well for those yellow tails. These fish are hungry. They were ready to eat anything you threw down there. Nice. Well, thanks, Pops. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Wow. Nice pile of fish for sure. Big vermilions, mangroves, yellow tails, porgies. Got some gags over there. Definitely a great grade of fish. And again, that was a 39 hour fishing trip, a private charter. There's only about 25 anglers on the boat. And uh, a few of them uh, were first time anglers who uh, didn't do so well with the swells. So we really only had about 18 people fishing, got a massive pile of fish for just a few anglers. Uh, definitely a great trip overall. Big mangroves, big yellow tails. Uh, the, grouper bite left a little bit to be desired but we broke a lot of fish off and uh like i said we avoided the amberjack so uh some people might be thinking there's not a lot of amberjack in that pile but that was at a client's request they didn't want amberjack so we uh actively avoided them we ran into some red snapper during the day we were able to navigate around them and uh, keep looking for those red grouper and gag grouper once we caught a massive pile of mangrove snapper and yellowtail snapper. Captain Garrett's going out today. Got a super light 39 hour trip going out at 3 p.m. today. Got a super light five and 10 hour trip going out today. Weather has calmed down a little bit for Wednesday and Thursday. It's 
not looking quite as bad as it was. So we're probably going to be able to get out there Wednesday and Thursday. Weather's definitely looking better on the backside. Once Ida clears the United States and makes it out over the Atlantic, uh, the weather will be much nicer overall. Also, uh, as far as tropical systems, developed tropical systems go, it looks like we're going to get a weekend off here for Memorial Day. So happy about that. You guys have a great day, great morning, tight lines. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Hopefully, we'll see you here inside John's Pass at Fish Famous Hubbard's Marina sometime soon. Don't miss out. See you guys.